welcome back to the Sims Life Stories. We just ended at chapter 6 and uh, it did not go well. Mickey doesn't like us and Dylan is our support now. But yeah, we'll see how it all unfolds later, I guess. Anyway, we're just about to head home because that's what Riley wanted. What in the world? How did Dylan get inside? Well, I could use the company after what happened with Mickey. I don't know how he snuck in the house. I'm pretty sure he was still on the gym lot right when we left. But, okay. Oh, hey, Riley. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I meant what I said at the gym since we went our separate ways back in high school. A day hasn't gone by without me thinking of you. Only you. Oh. I just got out of a relationship, but Dylan says he's here for me. And that's what I need right now. I can't help that I'm charming her. I know, two guys were fighting over you. What am I supposed to do? Do a lot of flirt interactions? I guess so. But can I change first? Bear, that's much better. I gotta go to work, but Dylan's still here. Well, make yourself at home. I'll continue with you after work. Oh, I was supposed to do flirt charm. Whoops. Riley, when I'm around you, I feel like I'm a butterfly floating in the morning breeze. I understand that you feel hurt right now, so just remember that I'll always be here to comfort you. My one and only. Dylan has been so nice to me. He's really helping me ease my hurt. He's a really tender guy, so it's fitting I should give him a tender kiss. My sweet Riley, I wish words could express my feelings for you. I love you so much, and I am grateful for everything that has happened to bring us back together. And one day, you and I can live together here in Four Corners, close to Aunt Sharon. You're her favorite niece, right? Um, if I remember correctly, I think Riley is the only niece. Anyway, you're... Sure, I'm Aunt Sharon's favorite niece, but what does that have to do with anything? Anyway, he's still got the gift of making someone feel so loved and cared for. I think I'm up for one of our Peyton, Dylan, and Riley makeout sessions. Oh! Yeah, screw Mickey! <laughs> we got Dylan now. Dylan is very nice and sweet, but he has yet to convince me that he's not the same immature boy he was in high school. Besides, I can't get over Mickey Smith. I feel so bad about what happened. I just hope what time he can forgive me. Riley, I brought you a special rug for you. It's... I think it's an antique. Uh, Riley, I think I have to get going. I just received a call from work, and I need to take care of some things. I'll see you soon. What work are we speaking of, I'd like to know? Okay, well, we gotta work on our creativity before the next time we work. Dylan has always been there for me during hard times. I'm so glad he's here with me now. Although I shouldn't get too attached. I've been hurt by him before, not to mention what happened with Mickey. Well, screw Mickey. <laughs> but, yeah, you just gotta move on, Riley. I'm sorry. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I guess I will see you all next time in another Life Stories video or whatever I make next. Goodbye for now.